Hello and welcome to this lesson about biology. Uh, today we are going to I'm going to tell you something about plantigrades, dicotigrades, or digitigrades and ungulligrades. Now you might think what well, all of those, what is this all about? Well, if we look at a human leg, we can say we walk on the sole of the foot. We call ourselves plantigrades. We plant down the complete foot. So we have a plantigrade foot, just like a bear. A cat is a digitigrade. He walks on his toes or his digits, just like a dog. So it has a digitigrade paw. When we look at a horse, a horse is an ungulate or an ungulligrade. He actually walks on the nails on its hooves. So hoofed animals, like the horse, are ungulates or ungulligrates. Hopefully you've seen something else as well. If you look at these pictures, you can see that in these pictures we can see, see some, some bones, and these bones are like the heel bone, and we can see that over and over again. So every animal has a heel bone but he also has the tarsals and the metatarsals in red and and the phalanges in, uh, in yellow so the names of the bones in mammals are the same as the bones in humans because in biology we consider it to be part of the class of the mammals so animals, vertebrates. And if we look at the legs of a cat, and actually the person who drew this, um, she said, well, this is the front hand of a cat. And we can see that there is a wrist and there is an elbow. And, and, and when we look at a hind foot, we can find an ankle and we can see a heel bone as well. And we can see the knee and the kneecap. So, what did you learn today? First of all, humans are animals and they are plantigrades because we walk on the sole of our foot. Cats and dogs are digitigrades because they walk on their toes, or their digits. And horses and cattle, like cows, uh, they have hoofs. They are called hoofed animals and they walk on, on their hooves, on their nails and we call that ungulates or ungoligrates. Furthermore we learned that bones found in similar places in animal bodies have the same name. So we saw that with a heel bone but it also goes with the breastbone. You have a breastbone, your dog has a breastbone but your fist doesn't. More about that maybe later. See you. Thanks for watching.